If you need to change the operating system of your VPS on Hostinger, I'm going to show you how. Let's get started with this video. What's up, SaaS Masters? Like I said, I'm going to show you how to change the operating system of your VPS. Things that you have to consider when doing this is that when you make this change, everything is going to be deleted from the past OS. So if you are running websites on that past OS, do not make this change unless you back up those sites. Now, before I get started and show you how, let me show you their VPS plans that they have here on Hostinger. If you go, if you go over to the link in the description, go over to hosting, VPS hosting, and you're going to view all the VPS plans that they have. In this case, let me show you this one, the KBM2, which is $7.99 a month. And there's an extra discount coupon code I want to show you. Now, first thing you're going to do is select the amount of months that you want to lock in the price for. You lock in the lowest price, the lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 24 months in this case. Now, the price right now, it's $191. But if you add my coupon code, which is SASMaster, and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172. So use the coupon code. This is my Hostinger panel. If you scroll down here, you're going to be able to view all the BPS that you've purchased on Hostinger. To change the OS, go into Manage. And in this section, there's an option here, OS and Panel, and then there's Operating System. Now you have three main options. One is OS with Control Panel. That means that if you use this option, it's going to install the Server Manager included with this. So in this case, the Server Manager is going to be cPanel and the OS is sent OS. If you want to use Ubuntu, for example, here's Ubuntu with Histia, with Plesk, etc. Be aware that if you use one of these server managers, some of these have a recurring cost, so a month to month cost. OK, and if you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and install a plain OS and select the BPS manager of your liking. So if you want to use cPanel, server avatar or another operating system for a BPS, then use plain OS and select the OS that you want to install. You, they're got, they have CentOS, Debian, Rocky Linux, and Ubuntu. Ubuntu 22, of course, is one of the most popular ones. If you want to select that, that's great. And there's also applications. So if you want to go ahead and directly install an application on the BPS, you can do that. So you have the Django, Drupal, Joomla, Node, Rails, and WordPress straight from here. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, be aware that if you make the change of the OS, it's going to delete the past OS alongside with anything that you had installed over there. But if you didn't install anything, if you didn't start any sites, you can go ahead and safely install a new OS. Once you do this, it's going to ask you for a new password and you're good to go with a new OS. Let me give you a quick example. If I want to change it to Ubuntu, so I'm, I'm, I have that right now. But if I want to do a clean install again, go ahead and change OS. But aware, be aware that you get this warning, right? It's going to delete everything that you had on the past OS. If you confirm, it's going to start the installation. But there you go. That is how you're going to change the OS on your BPS from Hostinger. Now, don't forget to use the coupon code if you plan to grab a BPS. And that's a wrap.